So uh, in text one, I will just uh, recite few lines with it. It says, Janma di yasayato anvayadi taratas charthe suya bhigna swarat te ne brahmaradayadi kavay moyantiyat suraya te jovari mrudam yathavi nimayo yatra tri sargo mrusa damna svena sada niras so in this text one, slok one, Srila Vyasdev begins Srimad Bhagavatam by offering obeisances to the Supreme Absolute Truth, the Supreme Person, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. You see in the picture, you can see uh, Vyasdev offering obeisances to Krishna. Okay, here is Vyasdev, here is Lord Krishna. Okay, so this first verse is spoken by Srila Vyasdev. As I mentioned earlier yesterday, that the principal speaker is Srimad, of Srimad Bhagavatam is Sukhdev Goswami, and principal listener is Parikshit Maharaj. But Sukhdev Goswami will start speaking from Scanto 2. Uh, in the uh, end of the Canto 1, 16, 17, 18, 19 chapter, we see that Sukhdev Goswami make appearance and then the conversation between Sukhdev Goswami and Parikshit Maharaj will begin. So first Canto, in the first verse, first three verses is spoken by Shila Vyasdev. And then there is another speaker called Sutta Goswami. And also there are sages gathered there in Naimisaranyam. So there will be a conversation between them. So in this verse, basically, uh, it is described Krishna's qualities. Krishna is all powerful. There are some personal characteristics of Lord Krishna called bodily feature or nature and form. And there are some other, other uh, marginal characteristics which is uh, like his activities, you know. So the Lord, as we see, Lord Krishna does not have a material body. He is the Supreme God Brahman. What Vyasadeva is saying in this first verse, that Lord is Abhigna and Swara. So he is, uh, let me see, where is it? Slide so okay. So uh, Lord Krishna, he does not have a material body just like we have, yet he descends among human beings in his transcendental body as an incarnation. Therefore, it is very difficult for us to understand who is an incarnation. Only by his extraordinary prowess and uncommon activities, which are impossible for embodied living entities, can one partially understand the incarnation of Supreme Personality of Godhead. So go to the next slide, please. Can you go to the next slide? Yes, see here, uh, Lord Krishna's creation uh, is shown in this picture where you see the Lord Krishna, the rays coming out from his body and you see the person lying down is a Mahavishnu or another term for that is Karno Daksai Vishnu. Okay, there are three Vishnu form like uh, Karanodaksai Vishnu, Garbodaksai Vishnu, and Kshirodaksai Vishnu. So here, when Lord Krishna creates this material world, he creates through the Vishnu form, which you can see in this picture. Okay, so there will be a Vishnu form in each and every universe. 
so he creates but still remains independent that is the nature of lord krishna so lord krishna in, in this verse that we are dealing today is mentioned that abhigna in swarat which is very distinguishing quality abhigna means he knows everything he is knower of everything and swarat means he is totally independent he does not have to depend on anybody okay so this is the nature of the krishna is described in this thing so to give you the whole idea i will read the brief story of this thing and along with we will go through the slides so here that we have okay so the first one it is mentioned here that at the beginning of shrimad bhagavatam shila vyas dev the author first offers his respectful obeisances as you have seen in the previous slide lord before we begin this story uh, lord vyas um, vyas dev says to krishna that i bow down to lord krishna with gratitude he created this material world although the, he eternally exists in the spiritual world as you can see he is from the spiritual world but he creates this material world here he is independent and the cause of all causes he can place even the great sages and demigods into illusion and i meditate upon him he says so if you see the next slide yeah see here the krishna bewilders brahma and other demigod okay so you can see lord krishna and here is the four headed brahma you may have heard about lord brahma is having four head actually some other brahma in some other universe have even more than four head but in our universe the brahma has a four head you can see that so here brahma is praying to lord krishna uh because while you can see uh, the lord krishna and all the demigods are there also see he always uh, used to play in the uh, vrindavan with his uh, brother balram and also his coward friends so one time what happened that uh lord brahma came to see lord past times in vrindavan and at that time lord krishna was playing with his friends and balram and they were uh in in a lunch break time like they have like a picnic so they were eating so in that eating process krishna was eating from his friends mouth also so when brahma saw that uh he wondered that this cannot be a god you know so he was kind of an, an illusion uh so he tried to test then what he did is he stole the cow uh, cows and calf that krishna has there uh and then he took it to his uh some cave there mountain cave so here lord krishna knew that this is brahma's uh work so then he created equal amount of cows and calves there you know and uh, then uh, next time when he came he, uh, brahma saw that the cows and calves are as is so he tried to stole his all coward friend boys you know all these friends uh, and at that time uh, krishna also created so many other uh friends and stuff like that so what happened uh then uh, brahma is realized that there is nothing happening everything is going as usual before so then he knew the supremacy of lord krishna and he is uh uh for uh, asking 
forgiveness from Lord Krishna in this picture, you can see that, you know. So, and in the next picture, we see, this is the thing where a uh, place of Dharmisana, we get to that little later. I'll, I'll get the story a little further. You can say we can only understand the Bhagavatam if we have a pure heart. The stories from the Bhagavatam are true and blissful. And by listening to them attentively, we will meet our best friend, Lord Krishna, who is always in our heart. These stories are like delicious fruits. And because Sukhdeva Goswami is the speaker, they have become even tastier. In the same way that a parrot packs a mango, making it taste sweeter. Now, once in a holy place in the forest of Naimya Saranya, many great sages headed by Sovnatrusi gathered together to perform a sacrifice for 1,000 years to please Krishna and his devotees. So you can see this picture. They are gathered in the uh, forest called Naimya Saranya. And over there, the, all the sages gathered there and they were performing fire sacrifice. Why they were doing? Because the Kaliyug was coming. And because the Kaliyug was coming, there are bad effects of Kaliyuga. So they want to mitigate the miseries of the people in Kaliyuga. So for their benefit, they were doing all these fire sacrifices. So during that time, uh, Sutta Goswami, came there and we can see here uh, the purpose of performing their sacrifice is to uh, give peace to the humanity at large. And I will give you some introduction on Sutta Goswami while we are here. And the Sutta Goswami was present when Sukadeva Goswami recited Srimad Bhagavatam to Marikshit Maharaj. So, like I mentioned earlier, that 20 years after the Kali Yuga began, uh, when Sukadeva Goswami recited this Bhagavatam to Parikshit Maharaj, Sut Goswami was also present there. And he heard the whole Srimad Bhagavatam. So, that is why uh, all these Rusis gathered here, they are now requesting him that whatever you have heard from Sukhda Goswami, please tell us. So that was their intent here. The Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, his full name of Sutta Goswami is Ugrasava Sutta, and his father's name is Romharsan Sutta, who was killed by Balram for being disrespectful. So there is a story behind it that his father's name was Romharsan, the Sutta Goswami who is going to recite Bhagavatam to the sages in Nemisaranya. His father's name is uh, Romharsan and Romharsan was killed by Balram because one time what happened when Balram came, this Romharsan did not uh, respect Balram and that is why Balram uh, killed him just by taking a grass uh, one speck of glass, grass, and uh, he killed the Rome herself. So there was a problem. So then he appointed Sutta Goswami, his son, you know, in his place, because actually originally Rome Harsan Sut was going to recite this thing. So Sutta Goswami took the place of his father as speaker in the uh, sacrificial arena. Then the next character we're going to discuss is Sutta Gos, uh, I mean Saunaka Rusi. Now Saunaka Rusi is the head of all these Rusis. You see there, they are all gathered there. And he was like a spokesperson. He's like a, a leader of all these Rusis. And he was asking questions to uh, Sutta Goswami, which we will see from uh, verse text four and on that how, they are asking the questions, you know. So here in the beginning, just wanted to uh, point out that Vyasdev pays the respectful obeisances to Lord Krishna. The sages gather in Nemisaranya to perform great thousand year sacrifice for the pleasure of the Lord and his devotees. 
uh, and then the sages offer Sudh Goswami a seat uh, and glorify him. So this is where we are at this point and uh, we will kind of uh, take the uh, next, before we go further in here, I just want to explain you about the next verse which describes the Bhagavatam and defines the actual religion, uh, which we knew some of the stories of Bhagavatam. And the third verse, which is very important also, that encourages everybody to rally Srimad Bhagavatam, which is directly emanated from the sweet lips of Sukadev Goswami. So this verse one, two, three, uh, in one verse, what we have discussed is that Lord Krishna is a param, satyam param dhimahi. Uh, Vyasadeva saying to Lord Krishna that, so what is param satyam? The param satyam is supreme absolute truth. And that supreme absolute truth is Lord Krishna himself. So there is no one other than him, you know, so that's what it means. Janma di yasya yata means he who created all this world, he who maintains and nourishes them and into him the entire creation enters after the annihilation or dissolution. Uh, so that is why Janma, Sthiti and Pralai, they are the Sanskrit word, but the translation is creation, uh, maintenance and destruction is uh, carried out by Krishna so agency, I mean, originally he is the cause of all causes, but he is the one who uh, appoints his uh, Vishnu form to do all these things. Uh, and as a Guna avatar, which you will see in the third chapter, the Brahma, Vishnu and Lord Seva, you may have heard this Triputi, like Brahma is in charge of uh, uh, creation, Vishnu is in charge of maintenance and Lord Shiva is in charge of destruction. Also, it is mentioned in this first verse that Tene Brahmadayadi Kavaye Muhyanti Yasuraya means this Vedic knowledge was first given to Lord Brahma by Lord Krishna. That is given here in this verse also. The Brahma is the first recipient of getting this Vedic knowledge and in very humble stage, that why he is offering his obeisances to the Lord which is a Vedic way of uh, great, you know, uh, expressing our love for someone, our respect for someone is that we always pay obeisances, namaste, like that. So that is the Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Bhagavate here refers to Lord Krishna, you know. And Vasudevaya is the son of Vasudev. It's Vasudev, like that. So... We will stop here and take questions from you and we will continue our story tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Anybody have any questions? Oh, yeah, so they did a fire sacrifice to impress Krishna. Did they do fire sacrifice to impress Krishna? Hare Krishna, please ask one by one. Uh, please raise your hand if you have any questions. So one question. I have one question. Yes, please ask. Uh, so when did this happen? Like when did the fire sacrifice happen? I can't hear you, you're on mute. I can't hear you. Are you hear me? Are you hear me? Okay, yeah, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yes, okay. when, right. when did the yeah, when did the fire when did yeah. the fire sacrifice happen? Yeah, that happened after 
See, when Kaliyuga began 20 years later, Sukhdev Goswami told this to Parikshit Maharaj. At that time, Sukhdev Goswami also heard. And after a few years, they uh, performed their sacrifices there, which is in the beginning of the Kaliyuga. Hello? In the beginning of the Kaliyuga, they did this thing. Like how many years ago? Oh, it's uh, about 5,000 years ago. Oh. I have a question. They yes. did the fire sacrifice to impress Krishna? Okay, one by one, huh? Excuse me, I have a question. Okay, who is asking? Mandri. Okay, what is your question? Like, if it happened 5,000 years ago, like, how do we still remember? How still remember? Because it is already in the book, you know? So there is a historical event described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhuji, I have a question. So why did he like decide to write it? I have a question. I have a question. Why did he decide to write it? Why does he write for? Why did he decide to go write the book? Like the why did he why did he decide to take write the book? Why did he excited to write the books? Yeah. Okay. We're going to learn that as we go, because there are chapter five and six. Uh, we will, we will, uh, I will tell you the story, uh, how and when. We asked Puduji, you. Puduji, I have a question. Puduji, I have a question. We yet to come in chapter five and six. I have a question. All right. Babuji, I have a question. Babuji, I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Yes. So, did they do the fire sacrifice to impress Krishna, please? Because, yeah, people were saying that, like, she's gone missing. I don't read the book. I think she's just taking space, like, for herself right now. Babuji, I have a question. Yes. Okay, what were the first and second ones you showed us? I, I, I couldn't see that. What were the first? Yeah, yeah. And the second one, both of them. Like that you showed us on your computer. Oh, yeah, oh, in the introduction portion. Yeah, okay. The, you mean the, the first Katha was, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam was told by Sukhdev Goswami to Parikshit Maharaj. So, and what was the second one? Yeah. Like, second one was, was spoken by Gokarna to deliver his brother Dundukari. Okay. Yeah. 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 I have a question. Um, Varun. Yes, go ahead. Ask your question. Um, please. Yeah, okay. My question is um wait. My question is um did um Sutta Goswami um hear the Bhagavatam from um Sukadeva Goswami? Yeah, when Sutta Goswami uh, Sukadeva Goswami was telling Maharaj Parikshit, he was present there. Okay. So that's why he heard the whole Bhagavatam. Okay. And, during those days, by hearing, they will remember everything. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so, uh, what did both like uh, both uh, Bhagavatam like who who all who are the sages who listen to uh, Sutta Goswami uh, in that uh, session in Nemi okay. There are many about eighty eight thousand Rusis there listening that katha, and the leader of their all Rusis were uh, was uh, Savanaka Rusi. The other Rusis were like Gautam, Atri, like that. Babuji, I have a question. Yes. So, um, you told me the introductions, but I have one more question. Like the first and second, these things you showed me, what were the like offering Krishna? Like, 
offering up ten cents to Krishna, the first offering one, and obedience. Lord Krishna's cre creations. Offering obeisance, yeah. The okay before compiling or writing the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Vyasadeva was offering his pranam, you know, like uh, respectful gratitude he was offering. So, okay. and at the same time, he has also was saying that what are the Krishna's qualities, you know, like that. So, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. And what was the second one where Lord Krishna's creations? Yeah, the creation uh, which is mentioned in this, uh, the first verse that I read, Janmadi Yasya Yataha, which means creation, maintenance and destruction, which is caused by Lord Krishna. So that was the purpose of showing the second slide, where how he creates through the Vishnu incarnation. There are so many incarnations we're going to learn about Krishna, but the wow. creation purpose, he uh, has a... Karana Daksai Vishnu called Mahavishnu, also sometimes we call it Mahavishnu. So through him, you know, and then Mahavishnu, through Mahavishnu, well, I am on mute, I just mute myself. And then Garbo Daksai Vishnu have a navel, uh, from his navel coming out lotus flower, and Brahma was born on that flower. So you may have seen the picture that from Mahavishnu's body or navel. A lotus flower is coming out and Brahma is born there. You know. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Next. Okay, so time is almost there for another class. So maybe we can take questions. Just write down your questions. We can discuss that tomorrow. Okay? And to and, uh, tomorrow... Two peoples, two peoples have uh, questions. They raise your hands uh, before. So can you... Uh, the, Divit, who is Divit? Can you unmute yourself and please ask the question? Okay, and go ahead. Another one is uh, Edwig and Manjari. Please unmute yourself and ask one by one question. Thank you. No, you. Um. Why why did they choose this Namayan Nevisharanya? Nevisharanya forest. Why couldn't they choose the Amazon or Sardinian to forest? Amazon. Namisharanya is the place. Uh, it's uh, located in uh, like Uttar Pradesh. Namisharanya near uh, Lucknow. Near Lucknow. Why did they do that? Uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll, uh, learn some history about Nemisarania forest a uh, little later. It's coming. Okay? But it is the place uh, what happened when Brahma contemplated. And who was the case to give the curse to the Parikshit? Parikshit? Who gave curse to Parikshit? Yes. Yes, Sringi. The son of Samikrusi. Okay. Thank you. Hare Thank Krishna. you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anybody else? Prabhuji, who um who was Rohar's son? Who was what? Rohar's son. Romar's son. Rom Harsan is the father of Sutta Goswami. Sutta. Okay, I see else? Vihan. Vihan has a question. Vihan, would you like to go ahead and ask Prabhuji the question? Vihan. Okay, so then next we have Karthik, Karthik BV. Would you like to ask question to Prabhuji? Hello? Prabhuji? Yes. Why was Parikshit so excited to listen Bhagavad? Who? Parikshit. Parikshit Maharaj was excited to... Okay, you know that Parikshit Maharaj was cursed 
to die in seven days. So he got kind of in a renunciate mood because he's done with his kingdom and opulence that he has. And now only seven days left and he has to die. So he wants to perfect his human form of life. Okay. So that is why actually it is not that he wanted to listen Bhagavatam, but he wanted to find out a solution that a person who is going to die, what he should do, which is kind of a teaching or lesson for all of us also. He knew that he's going to die in seven days. We all don't know when we're going to die, but that the Vedic scriptures gives us information that we should be Krishna conscious, God conscious, and develop our spiritual understanding rather than material uh, progress. And I have another question. Okay. So, did he die in the seven days or he was still alive? Yeah, the seven days he was alive during that time. So, when he went to the bank of Ganges, uh, Sukhdev Goswami came, you know, and at that time, uh, people knew that he is very exalted personality and he is Mahabhagavat, pure devotee of Krishna. So, he wanted to know from him that what he should do. And in, in answer, uh, Sukhdev Goswami told him the whole Srimad Bhagavatam, which we're going to learn slowly and slowly. No, no, I asked like, did he die after the seven days or he was still alive? Well, he went to the uh, spiritual world. He went to the Krishna Loka. He, okay. he, he, he didn't die like uh, normal people or common people die, you know? Okay. Because common people, when they die, I mean, they have to go at, uh, in another species according to their karma. But Rikshit Maharaj got liberation and he went to the Krishna Loka, Krishna's Dham. Okay. Thank I you. Have a question. Yes. Akshar, Akshar you uh, want to question? Uh, why was Parikshit Maharaj cursed? Because he put a snake on that Samikrusi's neck. You seen yesterday, have you seen that slide? Why you did he put a snake on the, his neck? The reason he put the snake is there because while he was uh, wandering in the forest for hunting, he became hungry and thirsty. So he, he came to the hermitage and thinking that he will get water there. So when he came there, the Rusi was, the sage was in Samadhi. So he did not answer. So he was frustrated sort of because he was thirsty. So yeah. what to do? I mean, he was a king, you know, and that Rusi did not respect him, you know, not even heard him. And he wanted water. So he got frustrated and angry. So that's why there was a dead snake lying over there. He just put it on his neck. Okay. So thank you so much, Prabhu. So next we have uh, I just want to let you know, boys and girls, it's now it's like 11.53 uh, and we have another class at 12 o'clock. So at this time, we would like to honor two questions. We have in live Rishit and Ovi. So we can go ahead with Rishit and Ovi for today. And if you have so more questions, you can write to email or any of the Mataji's number. Okay. So we will go with uh, Ovi, Ovi and Rishit. So Rishit, you can go ahead with your question, please. Um, so, when did this whole entire story start? Like, how many years ago? The whole story. This, you mean the Srimad Bhagavatam? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the story of Srimad Bhagavatam is eternal. It was manifested 5,000 years ago by Sukadeva Goswami. Sukadeva Goswami uh, heard it from his father, Vyasdev. Okay, Vyasdev heard it from Narad. Okay, Narad got it from Brahma. Brahma got it from Krishna. So this uh, knowledge is eternal. It has no beginning date. It has no ending date like that. Okay, okay thank you so much, Prabhuji. So Great. I think Obi, Obi doesn't have any questions. I believe so. He did not raise his hand. So thank you so much to all the kids. And Prabhuji for joining this uh, Bhagavatam class and enlightening all the kids 
on this topic. So we will meet again tomorrow, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, kids.